Hi guys, it's Lisa. Um, I'm finally going to do the CK Scrapple Convention Hall. Um, it was from July 25th and 26th in Pennsylvania. Um, I've been redoing my craft room, redoing the floors, painting, so my room was not accessible for the past few weeks. Um, I'm going to do a craft room tour later. Um, but I was finally able to empty all my goodies. I want to play. Um, but first I have to share. So this is the third time trying to videotape this. So hopefully my phone won't tell me that I've run out of storage again. So the first thing you get is the show program. It tells you where everything is, um, the schedule of the classes, and coupons in the back. We didn't really use the coupons. I went with my friend Jean. Um, because we already printed the coupons the night before. We had doubles, we had triples, we were prepared. So, that was that. And when you get there, um, everybody got a paper pumpkin, which is Stampin' Up's monthly group. And since I'm a Stampin' Up demonstrator, I already have this. So I'm not going to open it all the way because I eventually would like to sell it or gift it. Um, there's a thank you stamp and a bicycle and it comes with two little ink pads and then a project underneath here to complete with it. So that is, everyone got one of those. And there's a coupon on it, 50% uh, off your first kit when you subscribe. So that's pretty cool. So then... We both bought the convention bag, uh, creating keepsakes, scrapbook conventions, it says shop, crop, and learn with friends. Uh, this purple, my favorite color. And it was $15. And I'm like, you know, for $15, there better be something good. Well, there's a lot of stuff. We have um, textured cardstock borders from DCWV. Maybe if I put the light on, it would be better. I don't know. Is that better? No, neutral borders. You can use that really for anything. A Faber, or Faber, Faber, Castell, artist pen in cobalt, cobalt blue, 143. An ooh-la-la -la stamp. Cute. Tombow New Extreme Extra Strong Bond. I've never used it. Use on paper, cardstock, wood, fabric, glass, plastic, and rubber. All right, it's heavy duty. Um, some cardboard sticker, cardstock stickers from Queen and Company. Some baby cards from Keller's Creations. I don't have any babies, but no, now that's too bright. I don't know. Maybe if I put it up. I don't know. Whatever. Um, if you can't see, I apologize. I don't know which is better. Without light, with light. I don't know. Fine. Um, this video is going to be an hour long if I don't move it along. Um, some dimensional stickers. Fortunately, I'm in a band, so I'll use the guitar and the wings and things like that. From Momenta, cut and embossed dies for my Sizzix. And these stickers I've already bent. I'm so bad with these stickers. Um, they're letter stickers from Monte Paper Mill. Monte Paper Mill? I don't know. These are from Lawn Fawn. This is also from Monte Paper Mill. Uh, very American-ish. Colonial. Um, and then I was very surprised to see a Graphic 45 paper. It's from 2012. It is um, a lady's a lady's diary. Um, I haven't opened it either, um, but those are all the papers. Very pretty. I don't know if it's me. It's very pink and flowery, which isn't me, but I'll see what I can do with it. So that is what we got in our bag that I just spilled on the floor. Okay, now for the stuff. I didn't realize I bought so much stuff until I laid it all on the table. Oh my gosh. So one of the first stops I wanted to go to was Be Creative. Um, 
My goal is to own every stickle imaginable. And uh, I think I have done so. So I went with my inventory binder of which stickles I had and I bought the six that I did not have. So I got Grape Crush, which is one of the new colors. I got Twilight, also one of the new colors. Tickled Pink. I don't know if this is a new color, but I didn't have it. Diamond, I just needed more diamond. Sea Foam, which looks a lot like the lime green. And Rose Gold. So I got those six that I did not already have. Um, and I bought some Spectrum Noir paper. Um, I really like their paper for Copics and coloring. So I got those. And if you've been following my past few videos, you know that I have a rabbit. His name is Chubby. So I fell in love with the Bee Bunny group from, I don't even know who it's from. Maybe it's, oh, it's from Crafter's Companion. How cute is this stamp set? Yum, yum, yum. Our best moments. Um, and this is a large stamp. Um, that's how big it is. I went to put it on a five and a half card and it's almost five and a half inches. Um, so that was large. Um, then I got this one. A little Christmas one. A little bunny with a snowman. This is my absolute favorite. This one's called Rudolph. Um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Rabbit. He's adorable. Um, so I have my three sets for Christmas cards this year. Um, so that's what I got from Be Creative. Speaking of Spectrum Noir, Jean and I also took a Spectrum Noir class and we got a pack of Spectrum Noir markers, which we already have, but that's okay. Um, and it came with color along sheets and the lady was really cool um, that taught the class. But you have color along sheets, you have things that you can do on your own. There is information. Um, they give you a blank color chart to color in, and they give you one already colored, so you can see what you have and what you need. They also give you the DVD, the coloring guide, um, to help you. Over two and a half hours of inspiration. Um, so I got that. And there were three raffles, and my friend Jean and I both won a raffle, which was pretty rare because there were like 60-something people. So I got four um, Tim Holtz Distress Inks. Pickled raspberry, mustard seed, peacock feathers, and spiced marmalade. So, that was a fun class. Then, I went a little crazy with the Snap Simple Storage Good Day Sunshine. I wanted the whole collection. So that's what I got. Um, these are all the decorative brads that go with it. Here are some little squares to put in Project Life, to put on your page, to put in cards. Here are the more um, 24 3x4s and 12 4x6s, and they are double-sided. And those are all of the cards there. That's upside down. Okay. I just love the rainbow and the happiness. I just, just love it. Enamel dots that went with it. Uh, more cutouts, cardstock cutouts. Um, some pages, I don't really know how I'm going to use these. I know they go in the small binders, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I loved it because it was part of the connection. C connection. Collection. Um, these are the papers that match it. Just There's some solid, a couple polka dot wood and like lined paper. Then of course I got the single sheets. That one goes with that. I love this whole new viewfinder trend. Then the polka dot goes with that. The rainbow goes with hello. Um, 
the paint swatch. I don't know if this is called a paint swatch or not, but that's what it reminds me of. Goes with the flowers. So I got those. And then this was a big collection kit. Um, I don't even know really what's in it. I just saw stickers and little cards. Uh, six sheets of 12 by 12 double-sided cardstock paper. Six sheets of double-sided signature element pieces. Blah, 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 blah. So it will all go together. So I bought the whole kit and caboodle, if you will. Um, some things I have no idea where I bought them. So I'll just share those because I don't know where I got them. Um, Wink of Stella. I got the silver and the clear. I've never used it before, but I watch Jaredell. Um, she's Crafty Me 83, and she talks about Wink of Stella all the time, so I bought it. This stencil I loved. I want to use it for glitter and sprays. I just want to do like a whole rainbow effect. I bought Strawberry Ribbon because it's gonna match a stamp set that I bought. This I had to buy, this little flare. It says, I have glitter in my veins. I glitter everything. So I had to buy that. Then I bought this sheet of paper. Ooh, excuse me. This sheet of paper, it's just single-sided, but they're bunny rabbits. So. Okay, so. I'm not sure what's going on with my phone. So anyhow, I got the bunny paper. Then I got um, the Couture stickers from Graphic 45. I love this set. I wish I could find the paper for not a ridiculous price. So those are some papers that I bought. Then I went to Stephanie Bernard, Stamps of Life. And I bought the Stamper Secret Weapon. I cannot wait to use it. The whole back is like a piercing tool, and this is where you stamp, and there's a piercing, not a piercing tool, a piercing mat. So I'm excited to use that. And then I became a member of the Die Hard Club. So every month I'll get a stamp and a coordinating die, which is awesome. Then we got a free little butterfly stamp. And I bought this set for when I make my own cards and I bought the set which I loved um, the strawberry set and then I bought the dies that went with it this was the set of the month the month before um, and I wasn't a member yet so now I'm a member so I won't miss out on anything then I went to Queen and Company and the first 50 people got this little um, box and I just thought it was adorable so I got that and then I got this little bling book where you can put all the bling you buy so I bought some green and black and blue and yellow and purple and green and more green more purple and black and teal and there's room for more. Um, and now I think they have, Queen Company has different color bling books out. Um, so I got some bling at Queen Company. Then I went to um, Gary Berlin and Company. I just wanted this box for daubers. And now I just have to buy daubers. Yeah, that's a great idea, right? <laughs> Uh, then we went to Tall Mouse, and I thought these were adorable. Uh, mini bead scoop set to scoop up any beads when I do beads on sticky tape. Then I got these two little piercing tools. I love them, and I always break one, so I bought two. And then I saw the Some Odd Girl stamp. And she's so cute with the music, and it says, keep on rocking, and it's just adorable. So I also bought that. Crazy, right? A lot of stuff. Then I went to another store that I don't remember. I think it was Scrap That, maybe? 
And I love the scissors that they have. So I bought three of them because I couldn't decide. I think they were like $1.50. So I got the purple and blue plaid. The blue and white and colorful polka dots. And then the yellow leopard. Oh, battery's low. Um, and then the yellow leopard print. So I bought three of those. And then I got some washi tape. It was a dollar. They had a big basket. Um, they, they had paper that matched this, which is pretty cool. I got a sheet of that. Polka dots and then the green stripes. Then I got a glue gun work pad for when I use my glue gun. I really use my glue gun at work. I teach um, and I'm always fixing something. So it's nice to have a pad to do it on. Then, oh boy, this is a big one. Uh oh, I'm dropping everything. And hold on, it's coming. There's more. There's more. There's the stuff I dropped. Okay. Whew. Um, then I went to Mona Me Gabby which is always dangerous and they had white flowers they what is going on they had a big pack and the little flowers so my friend jean and i each bought a pack one of us bought the small one of us bought the large and then we just split it in half um so i have half the white and then six of the large uh, of course they're all white half of the small and then six of the medium size. So we both got large and, or medium and small. Then I got some purple ones. I think that's so pretty. Then I got some pinky, rosy, beige ones. And I got some green ones. Which, if you watch my room tour, you'll know that I really didn't need any more of those at all, but I bought them anyhow. Something else I didn't need any more of is diamond mesh. I got some fall colors for my fall cards, brown and orange. Then I got some winter colors for my winter cards, light blue and silver. Again, I didn't really need it. Then I love this ribbon. It's like an ombre glittery. It was very 70s-ish, I think. Like, it reminds me of the stripes like you'd wear on your shirt or on your roller skates. I love it. There was only one of those, so I grabbed that up. Then I got some of these flowers. I don't know what they're made of. Um, plastic, maybe? But those are fun. And, oh, I forgot. I also got light pink, because why not? Then I got these. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but they were very pretty. Maybe I'll take pieces and tuck it in the flowers or behind pictures. But I got it in this beautiful royal blue. And this purpley pink color. And then in clear, because clear can go with anything. Then... I have no idea what I'm going to do with these. These, I don't know if you can see that, are like little beads, little bubble beads. And I guess you put them in the middle of your flowers, like a glump of glue, and then these. I don't know. It was one of those purchases where my friend Jean's like, I'm going to get one. Do you want one? I'm like, yeah, sure. Why not? I need more stuff that I don't know what to do with. So if anyone knows what to do with these, let me know down below because I have no clue. I don't remember what's in here. Hmm, it's a surprise for us all. Really? Oh my god. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> oh yes. Um, this green furry thing. I don't know. I just loved it. I don't. I don't know why. I don't know what I'm going to do with it again. Um, but I loved it. Now I remember it. Um, then this, ooh, this was not at Mona Me Gabby, so I apologize. Mona Me Gabby stuff is done. Um, I forget where I bought these, but they were all different. There was a whole trunk, and you got to pick a whole bunch of different beads and buttons. 
So I bought some of these, similar to the ones I got from Mona Me Gabby. I got the number three to put on like, I don't know. Um, then I love these new, I don't even know if they're new. They're like the beads that are bubbly almost. So I got those in a few different colors. I don't know if you can tell what I mean. Like they've got the bubbles on them. So I got those as well. All right, let's see what else is behind me. Oh, a couple other things that I bought that I don't know where I got them from. I got this, it's like a, um, you put it on the glue so the glue comes out thinner. That was fun. Then I got some leopard print bling, big ones, some zebra, some purple zebra, and then little Mickey Mouses. Mickey Mouses? Mickey Mice? Mickey Heads. Then I got this purple lanyard because we at school need to wear, the teachers need to wear our ID, so purple, perfect. Then we went to two more places. We went to the Rubber Cafe. And we watched this lady do amazing stuff with this glue. She made glue dots. She, um, which is what this paper is for, you made the glue dots on this paper. She used this to then paint her stamps with the glue and the glue never dries. And then you put your glitter on it. It was amazing. I can't even explain it. If I ever do a tutorial, I'll be able to explain it. Um, then these are wipes to clean your stamps. And, of course, you need the glitter to go with it. So, my friend and I each bought five, and then we split. So then we bought um, vials. Like, she bought these colors. Uh-oh. I don't know what colors they are, because she has the bottles. Um, and then I took half in the blank vials. And I bought these, and she took half and put them in her vials. I got spring grass. Let's see if now we need the light. Now we need light? No, I don't know. Spring grass, diva pink, which is a fun color. Grape, silver metal, which she fought me on. She didn't, Jean did not want to get silver. And terrifically teal, which is my favorite out of the five. And the last store we went, oh no, sorry, two more stores. Two more stores, kind of the same thing. I don't know what store this is all from, but I went a little crazy with the bling. So I'll do this fast. Purple circles, brown rhinestones, yellow and white round rhinestones. And I'm gonna stop talking because you don't wanna hear my voice between each one. And I got ones that kind of look like seaweeds, swirls. I know they look the same, but they are different. See, different. So I needed all of them. And then I switched to the purples. And there's another purple. And more pink. And then we have the green. And blue. And this was cool, it's red and pink. So it was pretty fun to look at. More yellow. And these are like the thick chipboard type, but they're adhesive. It's like an orangey brown, purple, and a pink. So I think they were like a dollar each, or buy 10 get two free, or something like that. But the one thing that I'm not crazy about these is that they don't have connections between each piece. So some of them are really frustrating to put on my page, um, but you know, you know, like there should be a piece of plastic right there or right here or something to hold them in. 
but I bought those before I went to want to scrap. Uh oh, drop more. Because I forgot want to scrap was going to be there. So then we went to want to scrap, and of course I had to get bunny crossing. Come on, I had to. And at want to scrap, I got some more bling. I like these to go along the top or the bottom of a scrapbook page. And black and pearl and like a wine pearl. So you're thinking, oh, that's not bad at want to scrap. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. We have silver and then I got all the frames. More frames. I like the circles because each one is a separate circle, so you can use these on more than one layout too. You don't need to use them all. I got two diamonds. I think I got like two of everything. These pearls are pretty, they're different sizes. And then just the straight up colors. And then more silver. I don't know if you can see that. See how they have the connecting piece? So they're stay together. Want to scrap bling is awesome like that. They stay together. And some pearls. Oh, I got three of those. Okay. I only got two in the black. And two in the pink. And then back to regular gemstones. That's a pretty green. Pink and red. Whew. So, I know that was a long haul. Um, but thank you so much for watching. And we're going to the Scrapbook Expo in Somerset, New Jersey in September. So I can't wait to see what's there. Um, I thought that was open. Um, I can't wait to see what's there. Um, hopefully I won't have to buy too much more because I think I bought everything one could need for a while. Um, so thank you for watching. I will do the room tour as soon as I put everything in its new spot because not everything is where I remember it. So thanks so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.